Welcome to the Coach Hammer Podcast. Powered by the Costin and Hammer Network. A podcast that uses baseball as a vehicle to take your game to the next level through techniques, philosophies, and lessons from not only the game of baseball, but also in leadership, culture, professional development, and life. Now, on to the show. Here's your host, Coach Josh Hammer. Coach Josh Hammer. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Coach Hammer podcast. I am your host, Coach Josh Hammer. Yes, the person's on the podcast cover with his cool little Oakleys on, making thinking he's a cool coach or something. Uh, I'm so happy. I'm ecstatic to bring you this new version of the podcast. It was previously named the Learning the Ropes podcast, but being that it was a new year and we have a new goal in mind, we decided to keep the guests that we've had on in the past to come back, but we're also going to kick things off for the new year for 2K22. And uh, to kick things off, our first guest who will be talking with me about transforming our New Year's resolutions into habits. Yes, this is my longtime friend who I've known since 2008. Whoa, it makes me feel uh, like an old timer here. Uh, That's over 14 years. This is my good friend now coming onto the show, calling in Jeremy Wright Pace. Jeremy, welcome to the podcast. Oh, well, thank you, Mr. Coach Hammer. I appreciate the intro and looking forward to being in this podcast. Well, Jeremy, all I can say is just a sincere thank you for taking the time out of your busy day. Uh, Those of you that don't know, Jeremy is not only a graduate from my hometown, Sacramento State, hashtag stingers up, as they say, um, but he's currently serving um, as a professional transportation engineer for Caltrans, now living out his home stand is in Fresno. Um, So, you know, I didn't make the drive out there, <laughs> but uh, we decided to make the call. And um, Jeremy also has been consistent with a New Year show uh, that is on our Costin and Hammer Network. This is season two now, uh, which is crazy to think because if I remember correctly, when we had this idea, uh, Jeremy, please to you know fill in the gaps here. But Strides Reflection. Um, you know, you and I have been friends, um, for a long time, as I mentioned at the beginning of the show, um, both of us come from humble beginnings. And so our, you know, friendship or bond formed early on and has, uh, steadily grown more and more each year. And so it's crazy to think that here we are 14 years later, and now you're, um, a part of one of my biggest passion projects of this Costin and Hammer Network. And now you're using your motivational and, you know, that motivational, inspirational side um, to serve others as you usually do. But now it's on a digital platform. Um, So you could check that out on our YouTube channel, Strides Reflection. And as Jeremy likes to say, keep striding. Um, So, Jeremy, maybe if you don't mind just sharing a little bit about um, what what makes you fired up to do Strides Reflection. I mean, (laughs) Strides Reflection, it's very special to me. Reasons why is that it gives me the opportunity to talk about my life experiences growing up and what I'm currently going through right now. And what really gets me pumped is is basically getting messages from uh, the people that tune in to Strides Reflection and telling me that's what I needed. Like, thank you mm-hmm. for for uh, sharing your story. And of course, um, the goal is complete as long as it impacts one person every time they tune in. Yeah, to me. So that's what always get me fired up. It's just knowing that 
that Shrides Reflection is making a difference in someone's life. Uh, really couldn't have said that any better myself. Uh, you know, I know firsthand I've gotten the in-person experience of Jeremy Wright Pace. <laughs> so, um, you know, in a lot of ways, this podcast episode, we're really just dipping our toe in the water. Uh, but if you want to hear more, which I'm telling you, you do right now, um, if you need to keep motivated on your New Year's resolutions and to do that maintenance work on what it takes to become the best version you know, of yourself, I know I tune in every Sunday um, when it comes onto our YouTube channel. Uh, and Jeremy, as, as you've shared already, you know, uh, if it impacts one person, then it's really making a difference. And I think that's what makes this show very unique. And that's uh, reason number a thousand, you know, why we're coming up with these different uh, passion projects and finally putting in the elbow grease work to bring them into fruition because, uh, you know, we could really help somebody hopefully one day. And which leads me to our topic of transforming our New Year's resolutions into habits. Uh, you know, like I've mentioned, you know, about the show, is as a coach, uh, it's easy to hype up others. Uh, it's easy to encourage others and to pump up people. Well, not easy, but it takes a lot of patience. Don't get me wrong. But right <laughs> now, this episode is really focused for anyone tuning in out there. Um, we want to give you some, you know, some steps as to what we what we can do, not what you can do, but what we can do together to hold ourselves accountable to take our game and whatever it is that we're in pursuit of to the next level. And so I just want to kick things off that, um, you know, we talked earlier before we signed on to this podcast, uh, but that change, right? It, it's not going to just happen over one day or one statement made uh, once a year, <laughs> but it's really right. about, it's about that consistency uh, and discipline. And so my resolution this year um, has really just to been to make like bigger uh, strategic goals and to make small tactical goals to get there. So in other words, um, simply put, my goal is to make today count right now, this day, this moment, um, and just work on getting better every day toward different steps. And right now, I feel like if we if we do that, we focus on getting better today. Um, eventually, right, that habit will be weeks and then months and then who knows, maybe a whole year. Um, and I, I really don't think it takes just a resolution to keep us on that path, but uh, it, it, it takes time. Um, doesn't have anything worth it doesn't happen overnight, but it does happen over time. And so I just wanted to maybe hear some of your thoughts, Jeremy, uh, before we come to a close on this first chapter of an episode where we're tipping our toe in the water. You and I could talk all day. But maybe what's one big uh, resolution that you have and what's something you're going to do to stick with it? You know, Coach Hammer, you couldn't have said it better with your New Year's resolution because it does tie into what my New Year's resolution, <laughs> which is doing my best slash being my best. Ooh, and I like that. That's always been my motto. Can like you repeat that life. again? Repeat that again. My my New Year's resolution, aka my motto for life, is doing my best slash being my best. Oh, that's that needs to be framed. <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic. So, what are you gonna do to kind of you know walk the talk on that on the day the daily grind? course each and every day giving my all like mm -hmm. take better care of myself physically mentally emotionally spiritually absolutely uh so you just like e eating cleaner and stuff like that and getting what about getting adequate sleep <laughs> oh yeah hands down you know as a transportation engineer there your you mind go. is always <laughs> racing so, yeah, definitely you got to get that sleep in. Uh, yeah, I know that's a resolution that I have and bigger goal, right? Like, I think it's just setting my alarm at a certain time at night. 
and kind of what making kind of using that to force myself to go to sleep. Um, you know, it's, it's not easy to just keep a uh, new year's resolution. And, 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 and those of you that are listening, you know, uh, I'm sure you have some in mind, maybe it is, you know, diet or, um, I don't know, promotion at work or, uh, getting, you know, getting more physically fit, whatever those are. Uh, there is a sense of like renewal and newness obviously to the year. And it, it's just, it's easier said than done. And so, you know, Jeremy and I both hope, and we'll, we'll continue to walk, you know, re, we will revisit, we'll circle back on this conversation to see how our new year's resolutions are shaping up. But our goal with this podcast is to transform our new year's resolution into daily habits. And, you know, it is a campaign of discipline and, but I, as Jeremy has said on his show, and he's saying it here on this podcast is, it's just to do our best every day to do our best. <laughs> and um, you're already, sometimes that first step, right, Jeremy, that first step is sometimes, oftentimes our longest stride. You know, it's just like going to the gym. It's going to the gym, <laughs> you know? Uh, so I, that's where the consistency part, consistency part really kicks in. Uh, any final thoughts uh, around transforming, like say someone listening has uh, different resolutions and maybe we have, what do you have as kind of a message, a send off message to wish them luck on this uh, new year? My final message would be my motto that I always say in strides reflection is always keep striding, whatever you're doing. Absolutely. Uh, so keep striding and, you know, some days it's hard to maintain hope, especially during these, what feel like tumultuous times <laughs> and, uh, but you know, stumbling forward, that, that's, that's what we can do. Right. You just got to keep going, keep striding and keep, I always, you say, keep striding. I always say, keep charging, <laughs> So, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it, it all is relative. <laughs> it's all relative. So, uh, Jeremy, I really appreciate you coming on and, uh, I hope that, you know, in the near future and coming weeks that you, we can circle back, uh, and see where we're at on our new year's resolutions rather than just a phone call. We could actually get that live discussion on our podcast. So everyone can hear the real talk between you and I, uh, <laughs> uh, but today was about dipping our toe in the water and inviting others to join us, right? Not only on the coach hammer podcast, but on strides reflection streaming. Now season one, you can find it right now. If you need a little extra boost of motivation and inspiration for your 2002 year, 2002, 2022 year, <laughs> Um, I mean, you can rewind the clock, I guess you and I have known each other since 2008. So that says something, um, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, and in other words, uh, we just want to say thank you for tuning in, Jeremy. Thank you for taking the time to be on. And, uh, I want to say, keep striding, but I can't, I, that's your thing. So I'm just going to say, let's, let's both keep striding and keep charging. Hey, my pleasure, Coach Hammer. It's been an honor being on this podcast. And yep, let's keep striding. <laughs> Love it. Well, on behalf of myself, Jeremy Wright Pace, my special guest, this has been the first episode of 2022 and counting. There's so much more in store for you. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you next Monday for the Coach Hammer Podcast. Take care, everybody.